Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning to all my students. So, how are all of you today? Uh, I do hope that all of you recall in good condition. And please recall, take care of yourself while the recall pandemic uh, of COVID-19 is still uh, is a recall. Mm, how can I say this? Uh, something that haunted all of us. Okay, with the cases reach up to 20 case, 20 case of uh, K of on call cases every day. And <clears throat> I do hope that all of you recall, just be patient, stay at home, and help your family. And don't forget with our lecture. Okay, so before we continue, I do hope that all of you willing to recall. Uh, willing to help me to join record to straighten record my channel my lecture channels here by click on the button of subscribe like share and the bell uh, record button here uh in a record the bell button okay i'm sorry i have no idea how the other youtubers uh, come up with the sign of all this so i just uh, recall uh, sketch it and I do hope all of you know what to do uh, to uh, recall to support my channel. Okay. So in this videos we are going to discuss or oh, okay, come up again, again and again and again. So I have no idea what's wrong with this pen. Mm hmm. Okay, so we're going to look into the sign of this, of what we call absolute values. Okay, absolute values in the so we call simple ways to explain to you whatever value that uh, we call we have inside these two poles, or we call the absolute value sign here, it will always positive. That's it. Okay. So, uh, modulus absolute values of negative A equal to A. So, in physics, it's just like this. When somebody, okay, when somebody stand on one point here, and if he move three units to the right, or he, what we call, move three units to the left, Okay, the distance from this point to and also this point to another point here. Let's say come up with A and B from O. The distance from O to A are equal to O to B, which is three units. But what makes a difference here now? When we move to the right, we assume that it's a positive, and when we move to the left, we assume which is negative. That's all. So negative and positive is just like we call the direction to the left or right. But then the unit or the value or the distance are all this is still equal. We call equal uh, still positive three units. We call three units. Okay. So this is it. Absolute values of ax plus b equal to cx plus d. So we are going to solve the absolute values equation of this form here. And this box. So, the definition of absolute values represent the distance of a point on a number line from the origin point. Okay, I mentioned to all of you just now. From O to A with A unit, from O to negative A is also A unit. The difference is, is whether we move to the right, which is positive, or move to the left, negative. Examples for this one here, modulus of 3 equal to 3 units to the right, <coughs> okay, and negative 2 equal to 2, 2 units to the left, okay. So, these are things that you need to remember, modulus of A equal to A and negative A, so for this one here, if A is greater than or equal to 0, and negative A if A is less than 0. 
And of course, just like this one here, negative 2 is less than 0. And 3 is greater than 0. Okay. So, modulus A is also defined as a square of A square. Write the following without an absolute value symbol here. Uh, for this one, it is 2x minus 1 when x greater than or equal to 1 over 2. And negative of 2x minus 1 for x less than 1 over 2. Okay. And what about this one here now? It is 1 minus x. Okay. So the 4, uh, 1 minus x greater than or equal to 0 and negative 1 minus x for 1 minus x that less than 0. Okay, so for this one, actually that before we reach at this point, actually that uh, I suppose we write that this one has as 2x minus 1 greater than or equal to 0 and this one here negative of 2x minus 1 which is less than 0. Then from here we get this one here and this we got this one here. So what about this? 1 minus x and negative 1 minus x and here which is x less than equal to 1 and x greater than Okay, so, okay, I explained to you just now all of this. Uh, I don't realize that there's a page that explaining all this one here. And this one here. So the properties of absolute values. Okay, I'm not going to explain everything. You just uh, recall, look by yourself, try to remember. Okay. Modulus of A plus B is not equal to modulus of A plus modulus of B and is both for plus and minus. Okay, equations involving absolute values, modulus of A, modulus of X equal to A, A greater than 0 represents the distance from X from origin is a A unit. Okay, so therefore X modulus of, so absolute values of X equal to a is equivalent to x equal to a or x equal to negative a and i mentioned i mentioned just now negative represent the direction to the left so what about this one here now mm -hmm. okay. so for this one this is an this an equal sign so the equal sign this is an equation not inequalities equal so this one equal to one value of 11 okay so by the way modulus of 3x minus 4 equal to 3x minus 4 for x greater than equal to 4 over 3 or negative 3x minus 4 for x less than 4 over 3 okay so we got two definitions here. And since that we have we have two definition here, so then we take the first definition. Okay, two definition of okay. For example, here the first one three x minus four. Okay, sorry. Three x minus four equal to eleven, or here negative negative. 3x minus 4 equal to 11. Okay, so then uh, 3x negative 4 here become positive. So 11 plus 4 equal to 15 and x equal to 15 divided by 3 equal to 5. And this one here is either you expand this negative with 3x minus 4 or you bring this negative to the left side. Okay, both are acceptable. Okay, negative 3x 
plus 4 negative times this one here negative times negative 4 positive 4 x 4 equal to 11 so negative 3 x equal to 11 minus 4 7 then x equal to 7 over negative 7 over 3 okay so then the solution set is okay uh, negative 7 over 3 and 5 okay okay now again just imagine that these two have one definition one is positive and one is negative so negative we we call bring up to the 3 here uh, what I'm trying to say is, it's just like example here, x plus 1 divided by 5 minus 2x equal to 3, or x plus 1 divided by 5 minus 2x, see that it's negative here, so bring negative 2 to 4, 3 here equal to negative 3. Okay, so now, bring 3, since there is an equation here, equation, so we make what we call, come up with cross multiplication. So, x plus 1 equal to 3, 5 minus 2x. And also here, x plus 1 equal to negative 3 times 5 minus 2x. Okay, so this is 3 times 5, 15. 3 times negative 2 equal to negative 6x. Negative 6, bring here become positive. So, x plus 6x. 7x. 1, bring it here, become negative. So, 15 minus 1 equal to 14. And x equal to 14 divided by 7, 2. And this one here, negative 3 times 5, negative 15. Negative 3 times negative 2, positive 6x. So then, 6x positive here, bring it here, become negative. So, x minus 6x, negative 5x. And 1, we are here become negative, so negative 15 minus 1, negative 16. Negative 16, so then x equal to 16 over 5. Okay, so then the solution set is 2 and 16 over 5. Okay. Sort the following equation, give the answer in set notation. <coughs> okay, for this one here now. So then, uh, again, for this, it defined as a 2x minus 1 for x greater than equal to 1 over 2 and negative 2x minus 1 for x less than 1 over 2. Take the first definition, 2x minus 1 equal to 4x minus 3, or, okay, negative 2x minus 1, so negative, bring up to the side, so 2x minus 1 equal to negative 4x minus 3. So, 4x here become negative, so 2x minus 4x, negative 2x. Negative 1, bring it to the side, become positive, so negative 3 plus 1, negative 2, then x equal to 1. Then, what about here now? 2x minus 1, negative times 4x, negative 4x, negative times negative 3, positive so, two, negative 4x, bring it bring to the side, left side, become positive. So, 2x plus 4x, 6x. Negative 1, bring it become positive. So, 3 plus 1 equal to 4. Then, x equal to 2 over 3. Okay. Okay. To see whether these two values of x, okay, Satisfy the equation. Okay, let's try uh, modulus of 2 times 1. x equal to 1. 2 times 1 minus 1. Okay, equal to 4 times 1 minus 3. 2 times 1 equal to 2. 2 minus 1 equal to 1. Equal to 4 minus 3 equal to 1. 
Yes, that's it. Okay. And then modulus of 2 times 2 over 3 minus 1 equal to 4 times 2 over 3 minus 3. 2 times 2 equal to 4. 4 over 3. 4 over 3 minus 1. 1 or 3 over 3. 4 minus 3 equal to 1 over 3 equal to 4 times 2 equal to an 8. 8 over 3, 3 times 3 equal to 3, 9 over 3. Okay. 8 over 3 minus 9 over 3, 8. Okay. Um, <coughs> 4. 4x minus, okay, no. 2x minus 1. 4x minus 3. Okay. So, 4 times 2 equal to 8. 8 over 3 minus 3. Change this in a form. We call it a fraction or with a denominator of 3 here. So, 3 times 3 equal to 9. 9 divided by 3 equal to 3. So, 8 minus 9 equal to negative 1 over 3. 1 over 3 is positive and this one is negative. So, they are not equal. So, the solution set. is x equal to 1. Okay. So, method of squaring both sides. Uh, in this, uh, our recall, we all agree to expose to all of you with one method of squaring both sides. Even though might be there's another method, uh, I can't remember whether it's still method or not for this one. Never mind. Okay, don't make our our call. Don't make our ourselves confused. Uh, we just look, we can refer to the notes here now. Method of squaring both sides only if we have modulus on both sides, one and two. Okay, so squaring both sides here. So then we come up with. 2x minus 1 square equal to 4x minus 3 square. Okay. So expand of this one here. 2x minus 1. 2x multiplied with 2, 2x minus 1. 2x multiplied with 2x. 4x square. 2x multiplied with negative 1 minus 2x. Another minus 2x minus 4x. Negative 1 multiplied with negative 1 positive one. Okay. Um, I'll explain separately here. 2x minus 1 multiplied with 2x minus 1. So, you may refer to this to understood the process on the other side. Okay. 2x times 2x, 4x squared. 2x times negative 1 minus 2x, negative 1 times 2x minus 2x, Negative 1 times negative 1, positive 1. So then, x4x squared minus 4x plus 1. Okay. Same goes to this one here. 4x times 4x, 16x squared. 4x times negative 3 minus 12x. Another negative 12x, negative 24x. Negative 3 times negative 3, positive 9. Okay. So then, just imagine that if we bring all this to the other side, uh, 4x squared bring to the side become negative. So 16x squared minus 4x squared, 16 minus 4, 12x squared. Negative 24 plus 4, negative 20x. 9 minus 1 equal to 8, equal to 0. Okay, so then we factorize 12, 20, and 4. We have common all and divide by 4. So then 4, 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. 4 times 3 equal to 12. 4 times negative 5, negative 20. 4 times 2 equal to 8. Okay, so then here we factorize. The, we call the factorize that we call the function inside which is quadratic uh, okay 
okay, it's whether you write it for or not here, it will be count uh, when we compare the two linear function here. That one. So we got 3x minus 2 and x minus 1. So we got these two linear factor. Okay, so then from here, we come up with x equal to 2 over 3 and x equal to 1. So then the solution set. x equal to 2 over 3 and 1. Okay, you may check both of x satisfied of the equation of this or not. Okay. And now, this is quadratic. Modulus absolute values of quadratic equal to 3. It is x squared minus 5x plus 3 equal to 3 or x squared minus 5x plus 3 equal to negative 3. Okay, we solve one side one by one here. We get x squared minus 5x. 3 we have become negative, so 3 minus 3 equal to 0. Okay. So then x x minus 5 equal to 0 okay so on this side we come up with the first conclusion where x equal to 0 and x equal to 5 okay and this one here now x squared minus 5 x negative 3 brings up become positive so 3 plus 3 equal to 6 and factorize this um, you can, uh, it is x minus 2 and x minus 3. Let's double check. x times x, x squared. x times negative 3, negative 3x. Negative 2 times x, negative 2x. Negative 3x minus 2x, negative 5x. Negative 2 times negative 3 equal to 6. So then the solution set here is x equal to 2 or x equal to So then, we could take all these 1, 2, 3, and 4. So then, the solution set is okay, 0, 2, 3, 5. There you go. Absolute values in inequalities. So... Just now, we're talking about absolute values with equation. Now, it's time for absolute values inequalities. Okay, the distance of x and the origin is less than a. So, when we have this kind of line, it shows that it does not include negative a and does not include a. But it's less than and less greater than here. Okay. So when we have x less than, or we call greater than a or less than a, okay, from this statement, from this statement, we can define into this statement or this statement. Please remember this is either absolute values of x less than a or less than or equal to a okay so we can define into this form and this form so if i have modulus of x less than or equal to a then i can define as an x greater than and less than negative a and a or in this form uh, x greater than or equal to less than or equal to negative a and x less than or equal to a okay okay so for modulus of x less than a so please remember we can define it in this form or this form okay. 
But when it comes to modulus of function of x or fx greater than e, okay, is either here or here. Okay, just imagine that uh, this is Kedah, this is Thailand, and this is Kelantan. Okay, you are allowed to recall to stay only in Malaysia, in Malaysia only. So, which of this in Malaysia? Yes, of course we know is Kedah and Kelantan, or Kedah or Kelantan, not Thailand. So it means that you can build a home, your house, either in Kedah or Kelantan. Here or here. You get it? Greater than, then we just imagine that it's separate, and we call the area is separated, is either here or here. There you go. X less than negative A or X greater than A. Same goes to modulus of X greater than or equal to A. So we can only write this one as an X less than or equal to negative A or X greater than or equal to A. Okay, these are separate cases but for greater than or equal and this one is for greater than like this one here. Okay, now, okay, okay, yeah, mm -hmm. I mentioned to all of you, explained to all of you just now, so we can put them all in this table, and you can see clearly what I'm trying to see, mention to you just now. Okay, 2x minus 3, 2x plus 3, less than 5. Plus, <clears throat> for this question, there are actually two options. Uh, okay, I'll show you both of the method of solving this. You can choose either method that you prefer with. Okay, so option number one. Okay, option number one. Uh, from this statement, modulus of 2x plus 3 less than 5. We still remember what uh, we call this record? The sign that we should we're going to use that for this one here. Where is it? Okay. Yep. Yeah. This. Okay. From modulus of x less than a. Look at refer to this one here now. Modulus of x less than a. Then it is x less than a and x greater than negative a and also okay this one here x in between negative a and a so we are referring to this this time now okay that one uh what we call uh, solve this as an option number two when we separate into two parts with term of n in the middle right now First, uh, option number one or method number one, 2x plus 3 less than 5 plus greater than negative 5. Okay, so 2x plus 3 minus 3. So, okay, the reason I come up with negative minus 3 here, we would like to eliminate this. So then, we also come up with 5 minus 3 here and negative 5 minus 3 okay so then 2x 5 minus 3 equal to 2 negative 5 minus 3 negative 8 okay not all the time that you can use this sometimes it makes uh that's what we call uh, the cases that make us confused okay but since that this is 2x 2 is positive so we divide by 2 here divide by 2 divide by positive values it won't change the sign of this. So divide by the 2, x greater than 2 divided by 2 equal to 1, and negative 8 divided by 2, negative 4. So x lies in between negative 4 and 1. Here. OK. 
okay which is negative 4 and 8 1 okay method number one idea or option we call the idea or suggestion number suggested uh, solution for uh, number number one or you may also solve this question like this and this one here from this statement we take the first half here of 2x plus 3 greater than negative 5 2x plus 3 greater than negative 5 and 2x plus 3 less than 5 okay so let's try <coughs> um, 3 bring heavier become uh, bring to the side become negative so negative 5 minus 3 negative 8 and x greater than negative 8 divided by 2 negative 4 this one here 3 bring side become negative so 5 minus 3 equal to 2 then x less than 1 okay with this uh, we call solution on the left side and solution on the other side we bring them together negative 4 and 1 x greater than negative 4 and x less than 1 so we have that we find out there is a term of n here okay this is method number one it's a separate i show you both of the option of the how solving this question so you may choose either we call either we call method number one or method number two that easy for you to understand it's all up to you then okay when it comes to the term of n so we find out we try to find out where they when they intersect each other it is here so then the solution set here is negative 4 1 until 1 so compare we get 1 clear we call 1 correct answer Okay, now is greater than or equal. So greater than or equal, and we got negative 4 and 4. So then 3x minus 1 less than negative 4, and 3x minus 1 greater than 4. Okay. So then the first one here, 3x minus 1 greater than or equal to 4, or 3x minus 1 less than or equal to negative 4. 3x minus 1 less than negative 4, or 3x minus 1 greater than 4. Okay, so then, 3x negative 1 right here become positive so 4 plus 1 equal to 5 and x greater than equal to 5 over 3 and this one here negative 1 we got here become positive so uh, negative 4 plus 1 negative 3 then x divide by 3 positive value it will change the sign of this so it remain less than equal to negative 3 divided by 3 negative Okay. Hmm. So then, x less than or equal to negative 1. Negative 1 and 5 over 3 greater than or equal and less than or equal. Okay. We have the term of O in the middle here. Okay, so if if we have a term of n, so we try to find out, figure out where do they, where do these two solution a line of this represent? Okay, this one represent this, and this represent this. Where do they intersect each other? If we have no n or o, then we are playing with the sign of o 
positive and negative. But right now, there is it's not an N, but it's O here. So O means we're taking O's, all the solution here or here. Okay, so the final answer here is negative infinity until negative 1 union 5 over 3 to positive infinity. Okay. So the given inequalities. Okay, what about this one here now? It is <coughs> modulus of 3 minus x. Okay, it's either 3 minus x or 3 minus x greater than or equal to 0 and negative 3 minus x or 3 minus x which is less than 0. Okay, for the first one here, 3 minus x. Mm. less than okay the first definition here 3 minus x less than 2x plus 9 and 3 minus x greater than negative 2x plus 9 okay because one is negative here so we bring up negative to the side so direction change Okay. So then, negative x, negative, okay, 2x bring the result become negative. So negative x minus 2x, negative 3x. 9 minus 3 equal to 6. Divide by negative 3, left and right. Divide by negative 3 and negative 3. So direction change to x greater than 6. Divide by negative 3 equal to negative <clears throat> okay. Um, three minus x greater than negative two x minus nine. Okay, negative two x bring to the side become positive, so negative x plus two x will bring this to the left side become positive here. Negative x plus two x x and negative nine three. Positive to be bring aside become negative. So negative 9 minus 3, negative 12. Okay. So solution of set number 1 and solution of set number 2. Okay. Bring these two to here. Okay. We got negative 12 and negative 2. Our first is <coughs> x less than negative 2. Here. And for this one, x less than negative 12. So, with the term of n, we are going to find out where do they, we call these two lines intersect each other. It's not here, it's not here, but they intersect in this section here. So then, the solution set is from negative 2 to positive infinity. Okay. Okay, now, modulus of 4x plus 1 greater than, <coughs> greater than, so then first is 4x plus 1 greater than 2x minus 5, or, okay, 4x plus 1 less than negative 2x minus 5. <coughs> okay. 2x positive, bring to the side, become negative. So, 4x minus 2x, 2x. 1 positive, bring to the side, become negative. So, negative 5 minus 1, negative 6. x greater than negative 6 divided by 2, which is negative 3. 4x plus 1, less than negative, negative times 2x minus 2x. Negative times negative 5, positive 5. Negative 2x bring to the side become positive. So 4x plus 2x, 6x. 1 
3 to the right side become negative, so 5 minus 1 equal to 4, then x less than 2 over 3. Okay, so this is solution number 1 and this solution number 2. We put them on one number line here. Okay, first one here is x greater than negative 3. Negative 3 x greater than. And x less than 2 over 3 x less than 2 over 3 okay now this is the term of all all means all okay just now when the question of all when we we call one of direction more we go to the left and one direction to the right we taking them all okay right now is either intersect or not okay whether intersect like this or not intersect at all like this and this, we are taking them all. Okay, meaning all of this is the solution set of the answer of the question. So then the solution set here is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, so for this one here now, when there are two absolute values left and right okay we don't have to waste so much time on to find out whether it's a we call greater than or less than come up with two equation no for this one we can strictly come up with squaring both sides okay x plus three x minus 1 square greater than or equal to x plus 3 square. So, expand it 1 by 1, 3x times 3x, 9x square, 3x times negative 1, minus 3x, another negative 3x, so negative 6x, negative 1 times negative 1, plus 1. Okay, x times x, x square x times 3, 3x, and another 3x, another 3x, come up with 6x, And 3 times 3 equal to 9. So then, bring this to the left side. So, all is positive. So, when you write to the left side, it becomes negative. 9x squared minus x squared, 8x squared. Negative 6x, negative 6x minus 6x, negative 12x. 1 minus 9 equal to 8 or not less than, greater than. Okay, greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so factorize with a four here. So we got two x squared minus three x minus two, greater than or equal to zero, and factorize this four. We may ignore it, or we just write down it's okay. Uh, divide by 4, divide by 4, yes, it's 0 here, never mind. 4, divide, divide by 4 on left side, and divide by 4, so there's only quadratic left here. And this quadratic of 2x squared minus 3x minus 2, uh, we factorize, then we get 2x plus 1 and x minus 2. Okay, so using graph, we assume these two, are positive is greater than zero okay uh, we assume or let 2x plus 1 greater than equal to zero and x minus 2 greater than equal to zero okay uh, again if this sign okay for this sign is greater than or equal is either greater greater than greater than or equal or greater than only or less than or equal or less than only no matter what sign that we have here we just assume that these two factors are positive just assume that these two are positive it has nothing to do with this one okay assume it positive first then x greater than or equal to negative 1 over 2 and x greater than or equal to 2 okay so then we got negative 1 over 2 and 2 
here. Okay. So in this case, there is no term of n or o. There is no term of n or o. Okay. So it means that in this case, we are going to play with the sign of positive and negative. Okay, so multiplication multiplied between these two factors or values here negative multiplied with negative, positive. Negative multiplied with positive, negative. Positive multiplied with positive, positive. Okay, and uh, final answers, okay, based on what is given here. Two linear factors, 2x plus 1 multiplied with x minus 2, greater than or equal, greater than, okay, means that the numbers here must always positive, okay, because positive numbers, positive values is always greater than 0. So, it is here and here, okay. So, the final answers in interval 4, Uh, it happened again. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I have a problem with this one here. Okay, the final answer here for this one is from negative infinity until negative 1 over 2 union. Okay, union, not u, union, symbol of 2 to positive infinity. Okay, <clears throat> now, this is a question, it's between fraction in modulus less than or greater than with a number of 1 here. Okay, so it is now x minus 3 divided by 2x plus 1, less than 1, and x minus 3 divided by 2x plus 1. Okay, we cannot simply... Okay, now, we bring this to the left side, 1 to the side, x minus 3 divided by 2x plus 1. Okay, 1, 3 and this become negative, minus 1. So, I certainly... Uh, multiply and divide with the denominators of this here, 2x plus 1. So, 2x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 1. Okay, less than 0. So, now, negative 1 times 2x. Okay. x minus 3, negative 1 times 2x minus 2x, negative 1 times 1 minus 1. Divide by 2x plus 1 less than 0. x minus 2x, negative x, negative 3 minus 1, negative 4, 2x plus 1, less than 0. So, the sign here is less than. For both of this linear factor, we just assume that let negative x minus 4 greater than 0, 2x plus 1, greater than 0. Okay? So then, negative x greater than 4 and x less than negative 4 and here, x greater than 1 we have become negative, negative 1 divided by 2, negative 1 over 2. Okay? So now, it's between negative 4 and negative 1 half. It less than negative 4 and greater than one of negative half. Okay. Um, for this side, do you find any term of n or o here? No. Okay. Means that we are playing with a sign of positive and negative. 
So we have positive, negative, 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 positive. So then, one value either positive or negative divided by another value is that it's either positive or negative. So negative divided by positive, negative. Negative divided by negative, positive. Positive divided by negative, negative. And this one, which is less than zero. Okay. Less than zero. So we're taking the negative area for this one here. So the solution set for this one is negative infinity until negative 4 and union negative 1 over 2 to positive infinity. Okay. And this one here now, x plus 3, x minus 3 divided by 2, x plus 1 is greater than negative 1. So it means that here, 1 here with absolute values in between negative 1 and 1. It lies in between of x minus 3 divided by 2x plus 1. So this rational, we call rational uh, function here, is greater than negative 1. And it is less than 1. Okay, less than 1 and greater than negative 1. Okay, so now bring this negative 1 to the side. x minus 3 divided by 2x plus 1. Negative 1 may become positive plus 1. So I strictly come up with this one, multiply with 2x plus 1. And divide by also 2x plus 1 to equalize the denominator. And it is greater than 0. So then x minus 3, 1 times 2x plus 2x, 1 times 1 equal to 1 divided by 2x plus 1 greater than 0. x plus 2x, 3x negative 3 plus 1 negative 2, and 2x plus 1 greater than 0. Okay, now this is greater than 0 just now, and this is less than 0. But when we assume both of this linear, we assume these two, 3x minus 1 greater than 0 and 2x plus 1 greater than 0. Just assume that both are positive or greater than 0. Okay? Uh, and then, it is now x greater than negative 1, they become positive, divided by 3, 1 over 3 and x greater than negative 1 over 2. Okay? And on this side, do you find any term of n or o here? No. Okay? I mean that on this side, not referring to this, this side only. Okay? There is no term of n or o. So, again, just like this one here now, we are playing with a sign of positive and negative. Negative 1 over 2 and 1 over 3. Both are greater than. So, we come up with positive, positive, negative, positive, negative, and negative. We come up with positive, negative, positive. And this rational function here, is greater than 0. Greater than 0 means that the value is positive, right? This one here and here. So the solution set for case number 2 is negative infinity until negative 1 over 2 union 1 over 3 to positive infinity. Okay class, I found a mistake here. I made, we call 3x minus 2 and 3x minus 1 is supposed to be 2 here. 2 and 2 and also 2 over 3 here sorry and here is 2 over 3 okay this is solution set for case number 1 here and this is solution set 
for case number two. We are going to bring these two solution set in one number line and we finalize using this term of n. Okay, the first one here. Okay, case number one. It is negative infinity until negative four union negative 1 over 2 to positive infinity and case number 2 okay. case number 2 it is negative infinity until negative 1 over 2 union 2 over 3 to positive infinity okay for case number 1 I'll sketch with red ink and for case number two, I'll sketch the number line with purple ink. Okay, so now let's get back to this one here. Bring this on one number line. Okay, so we got negative four and negative half. Negative four and negative half. And this one here, negative half and two over three. Okay, now, um, the first one, uh, it is negative infinity until negative 4, okay, and negative half to positive infinity. Then next is negative infinity until negative half, and this one here, 2 over 3 to positive infinity so my question to all of you again how are we going to finalize this answer finalize this look at this one here now we between case number one and case number two there's term of n well this term of n means that we are going to find where we call the line of purple and red intersect each other so you can see clearly here now it is intersect here and here am i right okay so this is our final answer which is negative infinity until negative four union two over three to positive infinity Uh, this is supposedly for I call the solution of one by one. Okay. Okay. Never mind. This all the so we call this all the uh, final answer for example A. Okay. For question B, for question B, you may try yourself. Okay. If I separate this into two parts and you get here, which is x plus 4 divided by 1 minus x less than or equal to negative 2 or x plus 4 divided by 1 minus x greater than or equal to 2. Okay, we try to simplify and uh, we call assume that we call both of the linear factors, numerator and denominator and then the, we call the solution for case number one it is x between greater than one and less than equal to six and this one here negative two over three less than equal to x and less than one so bring these two and your final answer should be in a recall as this one here negative two over three one union one two six okay you try to this question solve this question by yourself okay and then from this two set of two solution set on case number one and case number two we up here there is term of all here when all means we're taking all the solution set of case number one and case number two and finalize here you try by yourself okay uh, i do hope all of you 
uh, will successfully get answers for this one here. Okay, the last example. Okay, for this one, uh, it is, okay, for this one, less than or equal to 3, which is x squared minus 5x plus 3, less than or equal to 3, and greater than or equal to negative 3. So, we get this in these two forms here, x squared minus 5x plus 3. Okay, the first one, which is greater than or equal to negative 3. And, okay, x squared minus 5x plus 3. Okay, this one, okay, this called the equation less than or equal to 3. Okay. So bring these three negative three to the side become positive. So we got x squared minus five x plus six greater than or equal to zero, and this one three will become negative. Then x squared minus five x. Okay, three minus three equal to zero. Here. Okay. So for this one, factorize x minus two and x minus three greater than or equal to zero. So assume these two positive. Let x minus 2 greater than or equal to 0 and x minus 3 greater than or equal to 0. Then x greater than or equal to 2 and x greater than or equal to 3. Okay. So from the number line of these two, 2 and 3 both are greater than. Okay. There is no term of n here or o here. So we are playing with cosine of positive and negative, positive, positive. Negative positive, then negative negative, we come up with negative multiple negative, positive, negative, and positive. So, this inequalities, this multiplied with this one, x minus 2, multiplied with x minus 3, greater than or equal to 0, greater than, we're talking about positive value here and here. So, the solution set is negative infinity until 2, union. 3, 2, positive, infinity. Okay, this one here now. Factorize x, x minus 5. Okay, x times x, x squared. x times negative 5, negative 5x. Five less than or equal to 0. So let x greater than or equal to 0. x minus 5 greater than or equal to 0. Okay, assume both are greater than. So then, x greater than 0. Okay, x greater than or equal to 5. So then, now again, from 0 until 5, greater than 0 and greater than 5. And again, on this side, you find that there is no term of n or o. We are not, we're not talking about this one. We are talking about on this side here. So again, we are playing with positive, positive, negative, positive, negative, and negative. So we got positive, negative, and positive. But then, this inequality is x multiplied with x minus 5 less than or equal to 0. So less than negative here. Yeah. So the solution set for this case is 0 and 5. Okay, so now, <coughs> uh, 2 and 3 and 0 here. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to sketch the line of case number 2, 0 until 5 with the red ink. Here until here. Mm, before that. Negative infinity until 2. Here. Okay. So, with this term of n, we're going to finalize, okay, we're going to finalize our answer. And from this term, we are going to find out where do these two lines of red and blue intersect each other. And of course, you can see clearly here now, it intersect here and here. So our final answer, which is, it is from 0 until 2, union 3 until 
Okay. So that's all for today. So I do hope that with all recall examples, it makes all of you clear uh, recall with the content of this topic and helps you to continue with your tutorial and pass your questions and helps you in the uh, next uh, task that will be given to you. That's all for today. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Have a nice day.